Okay. I okay. I have to apologize. I have to apologize. I'm so sorry. Okay. There's quite a bit of you that watched my first Madoka Magica the series review that I uploaded. What was it like a month? Almost two months ago now. And in that video, I was like, oh yeah, I watched a movie in a few days and I'll have a review up. And well, obviously it has not been a few days. It has been a little bit more than a few days. Let's not get into the details. A lot of stuff went down. I moved, whatever. Anime Expo happened. That was pretty fun. But, okay. <laughs> I actually watched the Madoka Ma Magica Rebellion movie like two weeks ago. And then I just rewatched it right now. In the dub, actually. Just so I could refresh my brain. So I've seen this movie twice now. And let me tell you. Oh, this is a good movie. This is a good movie. Now, look. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little confused on some things. I'm going to need help from, from the comment section, from the real, real theorists, the real critical thinkers, because I'm definitely not one of those. Um, and, you know, basically this video is just going to be my, my raw feelings, my raw emotions on the movie. And let me just say, talking about the movie, I am feeling perplexed. I am feeling led astray, I'm feeling confused, I'm feeling uh, bamboozled a little bit, but most importantly, I'm feeling entertained. You know what I mean? This movie had me going going on Google and being like, Madoka Magica, Homura figure. You know what I mean? Like, like, I'm a fan, okay? I'm a fan of this series, whether I understand every little thing that the author is trying to give me, whether it's like, I understand the deep like messages because i know there's a lot of real deep stuff that i missed here and if i don't mention it in this mini review rant whatever i'm sorry uh, maybe i'll do a little follow-up on like things i noticed or theories or whatever because um i'm pretty sure this isn't like the end of the entire franchise i'm pretty sure from what i saw from the comments and my, my own research which was like one google and the wiki page um i guess there's like a, a what is it a fifth fourth movie fourth movie coming out and it makes sense the way that this ended was very open-ended and it left me with a lot more questions than i had than i got answered um during the movie but you know let's just get into it let's just break it down from the beginning and of course okay of course fat spoiler warning right at this point if you're watching this video you've already seen the movie and you just want some random guy in the internet's uh opinions for some reason but uh, quite a bit of you what was it, like twenty thousand people that was my first upload that was my first upload i got twenty thousand views that was freaking awesome that had my heart going boom 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 but anyways okay let's just start from the beginning the first thing i noticed is Oh, so we're in a different timeline, okay? As soon as I saw Madoka, regular schoolgirl Madoka, chilling with her friends, you know, walking around and everything, I was like, oh, okay. You know, like, th th this this isn't um, where we left off. That was my first thing. I was like, we left off with Madoka literally being God, more than God, being the, this ultimate being. And clearly, She's just a regular middle school girl right now, so that's I mean, not 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 looking very ultimate to me. Um, and then Homura, new girl, but then he immediately flashes the ring, says, "I'm one of you right now." And also, another thing, another tidbit, in this supposed timeline that out that that the movie starts in, Madoka's already a magical girl. They 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 show they show that already. So I'm just like, okay, so. Maybe this movie will tie in with the series, or maybe this is a standalone timeline. Either way, I'm here for it. More Madoka content. I'm cool. But then, things start not adding up. Like, for example, Mommy, she's cool. She's my favorite character. She's my favorite magical girl. She's chilling with her killer. <laughs> okay? She's chilling with the person that murdered her. What do you mean by that? I mean, she's chilling with Bebe the demon that in the series the 12 episode main series timeline episode 3 i'm still scarred to this day kills mommy and in this this universe she's chilling but not only is she alive she's chilling with the thing that killed her again the supposed alternative timeline that i thought i was in if you watch the movie you know what actually happened 
So, you know, something's happening. We get to see Madoka in action. We get to see the girls in action again. Sayaka's here, too. She's chilling. Kyoko's here, too. By the way, Sayaka and Kyoko, a ship? How we feel about that? Is that a common? I feel like that's a common ship, right? They're always together. This is another thing I mentioned. They weren't calling them witches. They were calling them nightmares. So I was like, oh, we really are in an alternate reality. Like, we're not even fighting witches. We're fighting nightmares. And I don't know why. I'm usually not one to pick up on little details like that. But I think they said nightmares like a few times where I was like, okay, this is deliberate. They're clearly not saying witches. And it was in the dub and the sub. So I knew that it wasn't a mistranslation thing. It was like real. Like the author, the people that made this movie wanted them to say nightmares. So I was like, okay, that's interesting, you know. Um... And then we get to the to I guess the climax of this first little beginning, which is uh, Sayaka and Madoka's friend, which I'm blanking on her name. I apologize. Which I hate her, by the way, stealing Sayaka's BF like that. You're trash. But anyway, that's the topic for another video. Uh, basically, she turns into a nightmare or a witch, whatever you want to call it. She turns into the monster that they have to fight. Uh, because she's jealous that her boyfriend likes piano. <laughs> okay, like that's pretty much it. She's like, ah, why don't you have? To, why don't you make time for me? Boom, I am now a nightmare. So the girls go in. Boom, they fight. You know, we see a little collab situation. They they destroy the nightmare. Pretty cool. Weird little scene where I guess it's like a controversial scene. I don't really understand why it's controversial. I thought it was pretty entertaining. Where they're just sitting in a round table singing to the nightmare and then eventually baby just comes and eats it it's like a cake song thing and i mean i thought it was pretty funny i was very out of left field very random they never bring it up ever again i guess it's just like their thing they're like their calling card like their ultimate attack they just start singing at the witches or nightmares whatever so i'm like okay interesting um and then you know moving on and of course i'm 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 skipping over a lot of plot details because you know this this video would be like two million hours long if i didn't but you, you, you get it. Basically, eventually, Homura's like, something ain't right. So she, basically, Homura eventually is like, something is not right. So she talks to Kyoko, which is weird because we never see them interact. And then she's like, hey, you are the weirdest one. <laughs> she literally just straight up says, you are the weirdest one here. Um, can we go somewhere? Can we go back to your hometown? And Kyoko's like, sure. So then they go out, they take a bus. And they bus all the way to the end. But, like, no matter where they go, no matter what bus stop they take, what Uber, Lyft, you know, whatever they take, it leads them back to the city. So they're like, okay, that's very weird. And eventually, Homer realizes, hey, we're in a labyrinth right now. We're in a, we're in a witch's labyrinth. And I was like, oh, what the, what the? So my mind immediately, look, I'm, I have kind of like a giga IQ here because my mind immediately went, baby. Baby's back, you know what I mean? Baby's back, chilling in mommy's arms. And he's the reason, she's the reason, they are the reason that this labyrinth exists. I don't know why my mind went there, but it did. So then Homer, Homer thinks the same thing. And I'm like, okay, you know, we're, Homer, you get me, you get me. And Homer's like, not only are we in a labyrinth, we all got false memories planted. And I'm like, very 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 interesting little setup for a movie here so this is kind of like the the ending of the first arc of the movie or the act whatever you want to call it but okay <laughs> the crazy part is homer just starts attacking baby okay grabs baby by the throat and goes like hey why'd you do this why'd you do this and then baby's like dude i you got the wrong person i'm just chilling right now you know i'm just chilling and then this is when we see mommy and this is when we see mommy go, bro, you, you can't touch my son like that. You can't touch my 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 daughter, my little sister, whatever, whatever. You can't touch my little pet like this. And then they start fighting, which is a really cool scene. You know, we get to see them fight. Of course, Homer's giga OP with the whole time skip thing, the rewind thing. So, you know, she basically has Zawardo. So I think Homura can beat pretty much any magical girl besides like obviously current form Madoka because current form Madoka is everything. Um... And, you know, they have a little fight situation going on. And then they have a little fight. You know, it's pretty much a draw. And then Sayaka comes in with a third party. They start fighting too. And then, you know, no one beats anybody. Okay, no one beats anybody because, you know, they're all friends. They all care about each other, whatever. And then they all just are like, all right, cool. Let's pack it up. And then and then we see that we have this scene. The next scene is, is Homura speaking to Madoka. 
And, okay, this is weird because Madoka has, remember, Madoka has false memories. She doesn't remember that she's a god. She doesn't remember that half of these people that she knows are actually dead. She doesn't know anything. So Homura is basically just, just dumping all this and being like, oh my god, I, you know, I'm... I'm so sad, you know, no one remembers you, no one knows who you really are, no one this, you know, only me, whatever, so I guess Homer is immune to this labyrinth, like, and obviously we get to why, um, and then Madoka's like, bro, what, Madoka's like, I don't know what you are talking about, I, <laughs> I'm just here, I'm just a middle school girl, but look, let me come for you, because you're my friend, oh, they hug it out, whatever, whatever, so, this is when the the big reveal of what's actually going down happens and this is again like i was a little not confused about this part but i was kind of confused towards like the last 10 minutes of the movie when qb just starts going absolutely crazy with the plot details but essentially what happens is homura we find out that homura is the person so <clears throat> okay basically what happens is we find out that homura is now a witch okay from from the beginning of the movie, Homer has been a witch, and Homer's labyrinth is the city with all her friends and all that. And I don't, I guess, like she basically manifested this city, like she's on some WandaVision. If you've seen that show, where she basically created this false world where her friends are still alive, especially Madoka, the the, the GF, and she doesn't want. Um, any interference from the outside world and just wants to live in this little space so she basically manifested her labyrinth just being a i guess from memory recreation of the city that they grew up in or i guess they were just like hanging out with as friends a group of magical girls and we see homura find i guess she even erased her own memories because she didn't remember this uh qb had to tell her and then this is when homura actually becomes the actual witch and i guess you know, all the magical girls together, they have to fight her as a, as a witch form. And that was pretty interesting. That was like a little cool little set piece. And we see freaking uh, mommy pull out the giga gun that's like half cake, half gun. That was pretty wild. I um, mean, you know, Madoka going in left and right. And, and then, you know, they eventually just break the illusion. And Homer, of course, doesn't want the illusion to be broken. She doesn't want to get killed. She doesn't want this to end. Um, but, you know, they had to basically... Uh, if if they just let Homer just be a witch, like, you know, bad things would happen. They they, they can't do that. You know, Homer was basically trying to self-sacrifice herself. And that's not cool. Um, so the illusion basically breaks. And we see Homer just laying there, like, just freaking defeated. And then this is when real goddess Madoka comes out and is like, damn, how did I forget about all this? I forgot I was a freaking ultimate being. Uh, let me let me save you, my child, my child Homura, my girlfriend. I love you. Come with me. And this is the part that I'm confused. Okay, this is the part that I'm confused. In. Why did Homura not just go with, with Madoka? Like... She, she, I don't know, she could be like her angel, she could just be chilling at home, like a stay-at-home wife, like, I, I don't, I don't understand why Homura did what she did next, mate, like, Homura's kind of toxic, okay, she's a villain, like, like, this is what I think, I think Homura is not a good person, I think she got overwhelmed with emotions, and, look, a middle school girl, or a middle school boy, okay, I'm not trying to go there, <laughs> okay, a middle school person, uh, feeling, feelings, they get out of control, okay? You're still learning how to feel. You're still finding yourself. You're still f kind of figuring out the world. I mean, I'm 20 years old. I still haven't really figured out much. So imagine a, a what, 13-year-old, 12-year-old? I don't know how old you are in middle school. So Homer, for the first time, feels these crazy feelings. And not only does she feel these crazy feelings, these very hormones flaring left and right, you know, all this love, all this affection towards Madoka, but she has superpowers, okay so and she has superpowers so of course this this emotion is going to turn into the most extreme extremities you know i'm sure a lot of people watching this have have had a lot of cringe moments of uh, being middle schoolers or even early high school that have very cringe feelings and have done very cringe toxic things to people when they were young now imagine if you had the power to stop time and to become a monster if those if that emotion got too crazy half of you would be witches right now you know what i mean so i don't think homer is a good person but at the same time i don't think it like I, i'm not gonna hold it against her you know what i mean like i don't think she's like this evil being but i do think that she made incredibly dumb decisions as an incredibly dumb 
uh, emotion, can't control emotion, middle schooler. But basically, Homer grabs Madoka. Basically, I guess, tries to bring her, kill her? Like, I don't really understand. Like, she tried to t turn her from a goddess to a human again, or... I don't know. She did something, okay? She did something, and basically, Madoka's like... Oh, and look, okay, long story short, Homer basically evolves from a witch and becomes satan becomes uh you know a demon a devil becomes the devil um and you know qb's like this is the part that i'm really confused about qb's like oh a new law was rewritten a new thing uh you know the world the equilibrium of the everything is now been shifted everything is different now uh what what, what can i do what will i do and then, you know, we see Homer with her winged angel form and she looks super cool. So I guess we got we got God GF and Devil GF. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like it's it's like a it's like a picture of Homer. I can see a picture of Homer and Madoka like as like, Madoka as a god and Homer as a devil and it's like, oh, you know, goth GF and bubbly gf like I, I don't know like I, they're gonna go to hot topic and then they're gonna go to justice right after i have no idea why homer decided to become evil and then we just kind of cut to another city so i'm assuming this is the third city now and homer is just chilling there sitting in the table and sayaka's okay this is look again i'm so stupid how does sayaka know sayaka goes to homer and is like hey why did you do this what what what, what the heck what are you doing I'm, I'm never gonna forgive you and then homer is like oh well guess what buddy if you start attacking me then madoka's not gonna like you so you better chill so i guess homer's back to the wanda vision and she made another city where everyone's still alive, everyone's chilling, and Baby is a girl now. Like Baby's just some little anime girl, so I forgot to mention that. So that's cool. Um, and and Madoka's here too. So I'm just like, okay, so that we got God Madoka, we got Madoka and Homer's world, and then we got Madoka and Homer's labyrinth. It's, it, I look, I'm. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that I like it. Okay, all I know is that I like it. And then we have the situation where. You know, the classic scene that we saw like 10 times where Homura is giving, this time, Madoka a little tour of the school. So it's like, ooh, a little, little table turning there. And basically, um, Homura tells Madoka like, you know, oh, I, like Madoka's like, hmm, something feels off. Like something feels familiar, but off. Like I should be somewhere else. And I'm pretty sure Madoka's like, hmm, I should be a god right now, no? Like I'm, I'm feeling like, like I, I own the universe vibes right now, and Homer's like, Madoka, chill, hugs her and goes, you're right where you need to be, and Madoka's like, mm, I don't know, I don't know, and then Homer just, uh, I guess has been wearing Madoka's ribbons and then just gives it to her and then goes, oh, these look better than on you, and that's it, story's over, and then it cuts to everybody being happy. That's literally what happened in the last five minutes. Oh, besides, they they did a Marvel movie situation where they had a little after credit sequence where Homer is just chilling in like a cliff and the moon is split in half and then she's just dancing to herself and then we just cut to this beat up QB. Like, and then that's it and this is the end. So, I guess my theory, if I had to summarize this whole story this whole movie story would be it's about Homura and about how she can't handle the fact that Madoka is essentially gone. And it's it's kind of like her dealing with grief and it literally consumed her and she ended up basically manifesting this world that doesn't actually exist. Um, the only thing that I don't understand is she kind of got her way because at the end it shows that they're all still trapped in Homura's world. But again, it's like, are they actually them? Or is it just Homura's, like, soulless Legos of her friends that she's interacting with and pretending like they're real? And the only person that knows they're not real is, is Homura. Uh, either way, it's not healthy. Okay? Either way, it's not healthy. This show wouldn't exist uh, if these girls had a good therapist. But uh, it is what it is. So, yeah, I'm sure I missed a lot of these cool details. Like, oh, no, but you missed in, in 58 minutes and 35 seconds, actually, QB drops this crazy plot like i get it okay i get it this, this is just supposed to be my like huh, 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 emotion about the movie okay 
But yeah, that's it. I watched the Madoka Magica movie in 2023 for the first time, and I loved it. I would even go as far as say, I love this movie more than I love the, the main series. Now, of course, I enjoyed this movie because of the main series, but I think this, this self-contained, if you want to call it that, movie is very good on its own. Like, I watched it two times, and I didn't have a problem watching it both times. So, yeah, that was my little review rant of the Matoka Magica 3 movie, Red Re Rebellion. And I'm pretty sure 1 and 2 is just recap, so I'm not going to watch that unless unless I should. Let me know. Um... Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry this took forever, but I'm, it's here now, so thank you. And uh, yeah, I hope you see you in the next, next little, little upload. Bye.